So today we have the ultimate challenge here. I'm going to take this wrecked pile of poo and we're going to hopefully make it into our dream car because folks, we're finally back in rev head. So if you want to see more of this, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Komodo, that car looks actually like it's in pretty good shape, except for the whole fact it's missing wheels and about everything else in it. Well, that's not the way we're going to be playing this game here today. We're going to have to get into the newspaper, find a wrecked total piece of poo, and we're going to fix it. So yeah, we haven't played this since like 2016. There's a lot of new updates. I almost kind of forgot how to play it. I had to play it for like a couple hours last night. Uh, also, I farmed a bit of money because you can basically part out wrecked vehicles and make a ton of cash. So what we need to do, we're going to go to our newspaper here. And then here are the vehicles. Also, you have a ton of parts here uh, to repair said vehicles. But I'm looking for something ultra fast, but I don't need something that's in good shape. Oh, there's my dream car right there. I don't have $90,000. But beside it... This thing has 133,000 miles on it. It's probably a risk buying it. It's $8,000. I'm just hoping that the engine in it is okay. I don't know if this is the car we're going to work with. Uh, let's take it. Oh boy, Han. Let's get this thing in the shop. And holy man, it's a pile of poo. <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool. Like the, uh, the big wheels on it. So we're going to put this thing up on the lift real quick. And we're gonna look inside of it and see if the engine's in decent, oh no. Normally when you see those repair icons, it's missing a lot of parts. Okay, click the engine. The engine can be repaired for $10,000. Well, I mean, that's a thing. It's only missing an oil filter and a starter. All the parts besides the carburetor are actually in decent shape. So you know what? We're fixing this bad boy. So fixing things in the game, it's not like a normal mechanic game where it's a lot of involved stuff. Like you just literally click the part and if it can be fixed, you can click that. Or if it's just uh, one of those parts that's replaceable, uh, you can remove it and add new parts. So say the thermostat there, we're just going to get rid of. Okay, so we're browsing the, uh, the local paper here. There's quite a few parts I need to track down. Uh, for this i need stuff like a thermostat here so we'll go ahead and take that also apparently we're missing some tack stuff for the uh the inside of the car so we'll go ahead and pick up a couple of those i think there's a water temperature gauge we'll take that one too okay while we're waiting for the other parts let's go ahead and repair this thing so we'll give it a little wash here wash that dirt off uh body repair is gonna cost four thousand dollars boom check that out it's still uh pretty rusty <laughs> We could always uh, go over that with a nice paint job here. So I want my muscle car to look really mean. I like green. So let's go with like a green and then we can customize the decals here. So uh, I'm thinking maybe something in the front. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh, what if we were just to paint the back? Oh yeah, that's mean looking. All right, let's do that. And I like the rims being black here. So let's go ahead and paint those. Boom. All right, we're just missing a tire and probably several other key components in this thing, including a headlight, but she's almost ready to run. But speaking of, we should probably put oil in it. Let's switch the race oil there. And then, uh, I don't know, was there a radiator in this? Can we put water in it yet? Yeah, we wanna make sure we don't want to blow up the, uh, the car immediately. Oh, there's no radiator in here either. There's a chance we might have to go try to buy another one of these wrecked and strip it for parts to try to build the race car. Okay, we are installing the carburetor. Hold on, let's make sure we have a performance air filter. There we go, we have a sports air filter. All right, so we got that on. Oh yeah, this thing might actually turn over now. I mean, it might immediately, oh, actually we don't have a starter. Might immediately explode. Okay, so this is the dream car that I wanna finish before the end of the episode, but I need to accomplish other things. We have 20 grand right now. Uh, that we can use to maybe purchase another car maybe go run some races so speaking of cars we could drive around i have just enough money for the supercharged v6 Wayla. uh yes please okay now i'm officially broke because we just bought this thing uh let's go run it and see what it's got well check out this piece of work huh what's the inside look like uh it looks like grandpa's car but there's a supercharger on it you can hear it holy man uh, that's kind of ridiculous. Hold on. What kind of speed does this have? It's going to be bad uh, when this has more speed than... Wait a minute. What if we were to steal the blower off this? Can we stick it on our motor? There's a chance we can do that. So yeah, uh, the driving physics in the game are actually pretty good. The camera kind of sucks, but you know, that's the thing. I actually like the interior camera. It's 
reminds me of Mon Bazil in the Outback. Dude, we look cool. We gotta enter this into a race real quick. That way we can just earn a little bit of extra cash. And then I'm gonna see if I can rip off the blower on this and stick it on our big muscle car. Okay, so we're gonna start here by running the time trial to gain a little bit of money. Then there's a Wayla Cup. So, I mean, this is perfect. Uh, I don't know what kind of time we're gonna get. Let's say, uh, you know what? Let's say we're gonna get the, uh, the bronze. It's like 500 bucks. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can actually beat the time. It's a simple dirt oval here. Uh, I don't know what kind of tires I have on here. Hopefully I can get some traction. Uh, oh, I cannot get traction. There we go. It took a while to get out of first gear, but we got three laps to get the target time, which I feel like this thing's got some speed in it. Oh yeah, we get some, oh no. <laughs> oh, we're gonna tear this thing up. We're not gonna have enough money to fix this. We missed a checkpoint, mate. No, you don't say. Okay, I have a feeling there's uh, like slicks on here or uh, some sort of tire that is not meant for the off-road. Okay, this is where we yeeted the car off on. Let's just take our time. Yeah, this car just doesn't turn. Uh, it's gotta be the mismatch in tires. Uh, all right, well, let's see if we can at least get the bronze time, which is 30 seconds. I don't see how we can, oh. Okay, we didn't get it there. Okay, we need like another second. Don't overheat on me, car. Come on, baby. Oh man, it just doesn't turn. <laughs> We're gonna lose our money. We're gonna have to sell this thing. Okay, we're trying to go fast through this last section. I need like a half second more, I think. Uh, not even that. We were so close to the, the good time and no! We actually filled. We lost our money. Well, she makes a weird noise now. Um, maybe I'm a better mechanic than anything. Hold on, let's look at the inside. Yeah, the engine's not supposed to make that noise. Oh. Well, this supercharger, can we stick this on our other car? So I think our best option here with this is not to try to race it since, yeah, it's got slicks on. That's why it had zero grip. Uh, I'm going to sell this. So the way to make money in this game, uh, part stuff out, fix what you can, and then just remove it. I know this car was a little more expensive uh, than most like wrecked cars or the cheaper used cars. So we might not actually turn a profit, but you do this with crash cars, you can make a lot of money. Oh, you know that supercharger is worth like five grand. We could stick it on here. Boom, look at that. Okay, well, we're getting the upgrades that I need. I want to go with probably a little bit smaller tires than what were on here before. Uh, because I feel like those were pretty much ginormous off-road tires. I want something a little bit more street, but we have our engine. We just need like a starter. Plus, we need to fix this thing. So yeah, there's actually quite a few parts that we could put on from the Wayla. We actually have the uh, the radiators in. So I'm missing a front headlight and really just tires. And this thing is street ready. So we can go ahead and sell off all the other stuff and try to make some of our money back. Uh, so we'll do that. And then... We'll sell off the body. We might have to get into another junk car, but uh, I think we'll be able to make out good here. Okay, so we have this other car here that I want to go ahead and just sell off. It's a good deal. It's like $8,000. And I'm pretty sure if the engine's in decent shape, this thing's going to be worth a lot to part out. So what was I telling you guys? The engine itself is $13,000. It's worth that much. Like it's $5,000 over just the asking price for the car. So I'm going to sell off all this stuff and it should give us enough money to complete our project car here. Okay, we're going to add fluid to it. Uh, give it a little wash here. Battery is charged up. Okay, let's start this thing. Uh, oh, uh, it's a little squeaky. It sounds like a maybe one of the uh, belts is bad, but it runs. Oh, ho, ho. the only thing I got to do now is get uh, some wheels on it and then we will be ready to drive. Dude. It sounds kind of cool. I need to figure out the squeaky belt, though. Okay, so I found a street tire and an off-road tire. So I think we're going to go with the street tire first. Uh, we'll install these, and then we're going to run this thing and see what it's got. All right, here she is. This is our baby. Hold on, let's crank it up. Uh, I'm going to check the timing on it, too. That's the last thing. Uh, oh, timing's a little bad on it. Oh, let's adjust that up. All right, I think she's ready to run. I am so pumped up for this thing. So we are missing one gauge. Um, I don't know which one it is. I think it's actually the speed gauge, potentially. Oh, yes. Man, do you hear that thing? Oh, it purrs. All right, question is, does it shift out of first? Uh-oh. This is that moment where I think I might have screwed up. Okay, let's see if we fixed our issue. Okay, let's go and shift up. Oh, Ooh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, 
It sounds like the clutch or something's bad in this thing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it feels pretty decent right now. We should probably wait till morning before we attempt to drive this thing around just in case we wrap it around a tree. Okay, so we're ready to go with the speed test. Now, we do have an off-road set of tires, which would be really good for the uh, the track that we have behind us. But we got to take this thing on the road. Let's see what it's got. Uh, there's a chance that we might need to also upgrade the engine or find a big one. Like, this one's a pretty decent size engines, but I think there's, like, drag engines and all that in the game. Uh, it feels pretty good, though. I wish I knew how fast I was going. I guess if I was in this view, I can see. Actually, you know what? We don't have the gauge for that. You know, I feel like this thing's actually going to have some decent top speed here. Like, this feels pretty good. Also, there's, like, a new racetrack around here somewhere uh, that we could probably test this out here in the future. I believe it's locked for me. I think I have to finish the stuff at the original racetrack, which... I mean, with a car like this, I think we can actually do it. Hey, what's this person doing over here, Hong? Can I hit him with my car? Uh, oh. You feel like a drag race. Oh, I mean, we're gonna smoke you in this thing. Uh, let's put up a thousand dollars here. Uh, I hope they're not fast. Oh, they're not fast enough. Wait, we're not fast either. Hold on. Wait, can I cut them off or is that? No, no, no. <laughs> This is how we win drag races. Our gearing's like bad or something. It's fine, we have top speed. We just gotta get going downhill. You know, I thought I built my uh, my dream car here. Uh, it might be a little bit of a nightmare. This is fine though. Like once it gets rolling, it's good. There's definitely some uh, things we need to switch up. There's the finish, yeah, we smoked him. I mean, not really. It was like probably one of the slowest like starts ever. Oh, we won two grand. So there's probably some tuning and stuff that needs to go on to make this thing truly a beast. But uh, one last thing I want to do. We're going to go smoke that dirt track real quick where we lost earlier. Just got to put my off-road tires on real quick. All right, here we go. We're going for at least silver here. I've got the off-road tires, so we're matched there. Uh, this thing actually feels better on the off-road. Like, it feels like it's got more acceleration, which is kind of weird. Okay, I might have lied about the gold time, but the silver time. See, we have it. We just beat that one. So we're going to win another thousand bucks there. At gold time, we need something definitely a little bit faster. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's a big, heavy muscle car. That might be the excuse I'm going to use here. I mean, it does feel really cool when you can throw this thing kind of sideways. Like, it really gets down in the corner there. Uh, we're going to have one more lap here. Yeah, we're not coming anywhere close to the uh, the gold time here. And here is the finish. Boom, 24 seconds. Okay, it wasn't great, but you know what? It was somewhat okay. 2K though. So we somewhat built my dream muscle car here in Revhead. If you guys want to see more of this, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you guys next time.